Hey everyone, Ken here with Ken's Creations and welcome to Ken's Creations Roadmap to Cricut Design Space. In this series of videos, we're gonna take a personal look at Cricut Design Space and all the different pieces that go into it that you can use to make the perfect project. So let's take a look at what today's installment is all about. In this installment, we're gonna take a look at the vector image upload in Cricut Design Space. A vector image is an image that ends in the extension of .svg or .dxf. How we upload these images is we're gonna go ahead and look on the left-hand side and select the Upload Image tab. This is going to take us to our upload station, and today we're gonna to concentrate on the vector upload, which is your SVG or DXF files. Now these files will have multiple layers with different colors for each layer. The great thing is, is Cricut Design Space will automatically create cut paths for each layer, minimizing the work you need to do to get your image ready for a project. Let's go ahead and upload a vector file. Now I'm gonna upload two different SVG files. And the reason why is sometimes designers bring in the image already layered for you, and sometimes they bring them in unlayered. So let me take a look and show you what that looks like. We're gonna go and browse for our first image, which is this Japanese doll. It's going to bring in that image right here to give you a sample of what it looks like. It's automatically going to pre-populate an image name based on what the designer named it. We can go ahead and highlight that, hit delete, and name this whatever we'd like. Now don't forget you want to give it some tags. These are some keywords, so when you're looking up this image later on in your image search, it will be easy to find. So I might give this one doll, cute, flower, anything that I think will find it in an image search later on. Now when I hit save, it's gonna take me back to my original screen, and that image is going to be under my uploaded image libraries right here. When I select this and bring it in to Cricut Design Space, you're going to see that image is already layered. It's one piece. So if I wanna work with each individual layer, I'm going to right click and hit ungroup. This is gonna give me the ability to work with each layer however I see fit. Now, let me show you sometimes how designers bring in an SVG file a little differently. We're gonna go ahead and hit upload image again, and we're gonna do the same thing on an upload vector. This time, I'm going to bring in this giraffe file. As you can see, here's a sample of that file, and you can already tell the difference. Once again, it's already pre-populated with baby giraffe, and now I can go ahead and give it any keywords I would like. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save, and this time, when I bring this in, you're gonna notice that all of the image is already separated. However, it is still grouped as one image. So to work with each layer, I still wanna unclick it and hit ungroup. It's always best when working with SVG or DXF files to have them ungrouped even when you send it to your Cricut Explorer. So that's the difference between some designers and how they bring in an SVG file. So don't be alarmed if it looks a little different when you're uploading an SVG or DXF file. But as you can see, it's a very easy process and I just love working with SVG files. Now, a lot of people will ask me, how can I do an SVG file as a print then cut file? The only way to do that is at you've imported the image. You can't upload an image and say you want it to be a print and cut like you can with a basic upload. However, once you get to this point, you can go to each individual layer and change it from a cut to a print. And you would do this with every layer until all of them are print, and then you can print and cut it. This way your SVG files can still be a print and cut image. Well, I hope you learned something new in that installment of Ken's Creations Roadmap to Cricut Design Space. If you haven't seen all the videos in this series, make sure to click the playlist on your screen now. You'll be taken to the playlist with the collection of the entire Roadmap to Cricut Design Space videos. Also, if you haven't checked out my print to cut videos, make sure to click this playlist now. This will give you an inside look of how to calibrate your machine, update your firmware, and get your machine ready for print to cut. All right, thanks for watching today's video. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Thanks.